Right, here we are again with the, um, the Hayden Wood uh, style crook. Um, it's been a few days since uh, I recorded last. Uh, there's lots been going on again. I've not been too well. Uh, but that's by the by. Uh, we're now uh, back into it. So, the next job was we were making a, a ram's horn collar for, um, for, for this uh, crook. And basically what I've done, I mean they used to use U-horn, I've got no U-horn, I've got plenty of scrap horn, uh, so um, I've cut a block and um, have we got uh, the remnants of it anywhere, I can't see, we'll have a look. No. Oh there we go, yeah. So there we go, just a piece of horn, um, near enough the right size hole. Uh, so what we've done, heated that up, put it on a peg, which is the same diameter as a shank, and uh, squeezed it up. Um, so we've taken it down on the grinder, and uh, so that um, there's not too much um, home for the heat to uh, have to penetrate. And we've now closed it up. This bottom end was the widest, so we'll leave that. We've just dipped it in water to cool it off, um, and you can see what we've done. So. Um, let that cool off, take that off, fit it to um, the stick, get everything glued up and then we can, uh, once it's glued up, we can take more off so it's uh, quite nice and thin and translucent hopefully. So that's it for now, not sure what the next job is, probably putting a ferrule on the, um, on the shank. Uh, but basically, um, once it's painted up and we're happy with it, uh, we've got this fitted with the collar and the, uh, the shank, we can glue up and start uh, varnishing. So that's it for now and uh, we'll come back when we've got a bit more for you. Thanks very much. Right, just a little tip, we're talking about these horn collars. Um, I've used that uh, wooden peg to get the diameter right and everything and uh, I would have thought it was dead square on. So I've cleaned the ends up thinking that's now going to be nice and square. But once you get that on your stick with the head and the shank going through, uh, you often find that actually it doesn't look square on the stick. So the easiest thing to do is while this is, while the collar is on the stick, get yourself some tape of the sort of the, um, the width that you want your collar, run that round dismantle everything and you can use a tape as a guide just to touch up on the grinder uh, put that back on the stick should look pretty good don't forget to mark up the collar so that it goes back on the way it came off there's a little tip back soon right we're at a stage now where um, the crook's been painted the ram's horn's been painted, the, the ram's head's been painted, the dog's been painted. Uh, we're still going to take this collar down, but um, the main thing is that we've got the painting done. Uh, while we were doing that one, we did the, uh, the accompanying stick to this pair, which is, um, if you can see in this light, uh, the wren. So the wren's been painted as well. I'm not sure how good this light is in here. Um, so the next job now is to um, varnish these up, uh, we need to do this collar here, uh, we'll varnish these up, varnish the shanks and um, we're about done. So once that's all done we'll be back and uh, we'll give you a final view of that. Thanks for watching, bye bye.